Hey gang, I had a question right at the end of class that I didn't get to answer. And it was about, you know, clarifying how can an organization have negative operating income and a positive uh, net income. So to illustrate this, I'm going to show you another real organization. This is Exeter Health Resources, the parent organization for um, uh, Exeter Hospital, core uh, physicians, and a few other uh, organizations down the street. And this dates back to 2013. So I want you to understand we're, we're looking at some pretty far back data. Uh, this is their annual report. All organiz all, all um, organizations produce a annual report. Usually they're full of a lot of fluffy stuff and, and this one is no exception. Letter from the CEO, lots of cool stuff about how great they are, uh, all the great things they do. So we just keep scrolling until we get to the financials. So this section here is, again, this is not just for the hospital, this is for the uh, overall organization. Um, and we see we have five years worth of data. So this is nice because we've got a couple of, of opportunities for illustration. So the one I wanna focus on first is the 2013 um, uh, uh, data. So in class, I said, most of the time now, we don't report gross revenues anymore. We go straight to uh, net patient service revenue, net of contractual allowances. In this case, um, they were actually showing their gross revenues. So remember, gross revenues is based on the charge master. I've talked about the charge master, right? It is kind of basically funny money. Um, you know, uh, it is a, it is the same thing as talking about the MSRP uh, manufacturer's suggested retail price on like a new car. Nobody actually pays the MSRP and nobody actually pays the, the dollar amount here um, uh, on gross, that's listed on the gross revenues, except if you are uninsured. And we talked about it, that in class. So um, this looks a little bit different than the one we were looking at in class. Uh, just because it's done uh, in that older way with the actual gross there, but then it shows the amount that's negotiated away uh, in terms of allowances to you know the insurance companies. So there, this 515 is reduced by 246, and then instead of having a separate align for their expected bad debt, um, they have it all lumped in here. So 14 million, they're they're not expecting to collect. Remember, bad debt is. Um, not charity, right? This is uh, the amount of money that they build to people that they believe could have paid and just aren't paying. Um, so we have a total of 261 that they subtract from the 515 uh, and gets them down to 254. Uh, and then they have, and kind of lumped all in here would be all of their operating revenues. Um, and again, because this is a consolidated report, it's not just the hospital. Um, so, uh, so lumped in here would be other revenues and so forth. Again, because this is a summary report, um, of multiple organizations, it doesn't have as much detail. Okay. So all that said, their total operating revenue is 254, 254 million, right? They start with 515 after they make all their adjustments, they actually, um, uh, had revenues of 254, 254 million. In 2013, they had operating expenses. So that's their operating income of 254. They had operating expenses of 271. So they had an operating loss of 17 million and some change. Okay. So they have a negative operating income. <clears throat> and then they have non-operating gains and losses down here. So this is the stuff that's not directly related to patient care because this is a patient care organization. So they had, they made a bunch of money on their investments. Uh, they had some gifts. <clears throat> they gave money to community support, right? Because they're not for profit and they have to do that. They made some money refinancing different things and they had some other cats and dogs uh, that brought in 16,000. And so they had total non-operating gains of 16 million. Um, and so the 16 million offsets the income from operations uh, and they wind up with a loss, a mere loss of, of 1 million. If we back up um, to 2012 now, without summarizing all that same data, right? We come down here to their non-operating, uh, uh, they have a non-operating loss, uh, excuse me, they have an operating loss of 4,193,000. They had a um, 
oper non-operating gain of 12 million. And so they wind up um, uh, offsetting. Um, and then they had, yeah. And then they wind up uh, having a uh, total uh, net income or excess of revenues over uh, non-operating gain, uh, uh, excess of revenues and other support and non-operating gains over expenses of 8.2 million. In other words, net income of 8.2 million. So here is the illustration that I was looking for uh, that I want to reference. This is not the example I was talking about in class, but it is a good example of it. They have, so they're 2012. They have um, operating, um, uh, losses from operations or an operating loss of 4 million. So the negative 4 million, they have non-operating gains of 12 million and they wind up with um, uh, 8.2 million. So you can ignore the, this next section is a little more com complex than what we need to talk about for class. Uh, so you can keep going back, right? They had an operating loss in 11 uh, and then they had, um, uh, uh, also had non-operating losses in 11 so that they wound up with negative 8 million uh, uh, in net income. And then here they had an example uh, of uh, in 10, they had um, uh, gains from or, or income, uh, positive operating income of almost 11 million. Uh, they had 4 million in um, operating uh, non-operating gains, and so they wind up with 15 million in um, uh, uh, in net income or this excess of revenues over over expenses. So you have a couple of examples here of how that could come about, right? The 12 example is the one where we have a negative operating uh, uh, income and a positive uh, non-operating gain, which totally offsets the operating in uh, loss and gives you a net uh, positive net income. So in 2012, Exeter Health Resources would have had a negative uh, operating margin and a positive uh, profit margin. So that's how that's possible. So hopefully that's a helpful illustration of the stuff we were talking about in class.